back to Fire to Fork. Today is a little bit different. I'm going to be doing cooking. I'm going to be camping. But I'm doing it at Colonial Brewery with another YouTuber, YouTubing family, I guess, called Trip in a Van. Now, if you haven't heard of Trip in a Van, they are a family of five. So there's Justin and Beck, the parents, and then there's Jack, Billy, and Charlie, the kids. And they have been traveling around Australia in quite a big van behind an awesome Chop 200 series for six or seven years. Uh, they've had various cars, various vans, but their current incarnation is awesome. Um, they, if you want to jump on YouTube and check them out, awesome if you have a family, also awesome if you just want a guide to basically anywhere in Australia. I don't know how many times they've been around Australia, but it's lots. And they've got really good in-depth guides along the way. Massive channel, way bigger than me. Really, really good content. Uh, very chilled out, very down to earth, very honest kind of people. Um, I've never met them, but had the opportunity to go and catch up with them down here and do a bit of a cook up. So. We'll get to the cook up when I get there because it's, it's a little bit more uh, contentious than I initially thought. So we're at Colonial, um, just pulled up, just said hi to Justin Beck and um, went over and got some beers from the, well, the beer place. And I might just set up my camper and then go and drink one of those beers with Justin. Excited. All right, we are pretty set up. Oh, yeah. Is my camera working? Yeah. yeah. Okay. My first time. time. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for myself at home. Um, Relaxing on your chair here. Got the, the proper set up here, and then the amateur set up here. <laughs> <laughs> and little fire cooking set up, which will be great. I love the Billy! Just about sorted, mate. Perfect. 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 Great. <laughs> this is what Seems I like. This is all I carry in the van. I bloody love it. So I'll tell everyone to go to you for questions about where to get this tripod. Is that right? Please don't. <laughs> We're super lucky that we've actually got one of these. Uh, hopefully, the fellow who, got, who sorts them out well, can really get it running in six months or so. But as I get it together, it's really hard to find someone to make these things as good as this one. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I wholeheartedly agree. I've got one as well, and it's awesome. <laughs> it's but, bloody unreal. But trying to get one, no one sells them. So. Stay calm, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get, we'll get them made. If Azza doesn't get them made, we'll get them made. Sounds Very good. Yeah. So his channel is called? Fire to Fork. Well, actually, no, sorry. But this weekend it's called um, Solid Fuel bur solid fuel Barbecue to Fork because we're not allowed to say the F word. There you go. <laughs> so it is actually fire restriction season, but Harry being Harry, this is his job. He's got all the right permits in place. We've talked to the yep. fire safety officers in the area. We've rung the police at Dunsborough and we've got all the safety things in order to have a solid fuel barbecue in front of this big dam. Yeah. So there you go, that's, exactly. the, that's the admin out of the way. Now I gave you a, uh, a very rough rundown on uh, trip in a van and where they came from and what they do, but I think you should hear it from the horse's mouth. So, horse, the it's horse, the horse himself. <laughs> G'day, guys. Yeah, I'm uh, Justin from, and this is my wife Beck. We got oh, three. Come over. Come over, dear. We got three kids. Uh, I think they're. You, you'll correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they're no, nine, no. eight, and six now. Yeah. Yes, no, eight, eight, six. Yeah. Anyway, we've been on the road for six years, mate. Such um, a long time. There's a lot's happened in that time, and from the, the outset, we never set off to travel to create what we have now, as in social media or YouTube or videos or working with anyone. Like, my background is a diesel fitter. Uh, Beck is a nurse. We both Defence Force originally, um, and I got made redundant from a mining job. And all I wanted to do was just take a year off and travel. And the first year we left, I took all my tools as a fitter <laughs> so we could pull up in Karratha or Port Hedland in the west. That was our main plan. But we travel around there, then let's pull up in another mining town and I'll just get back into it. And to be honest, that first year we left, what was that, 2016? Yeah. Um, we were lucky to meet more than 10 families on yeah. the road in 12 months, right? So Crazy. think about that if you're traveling out there at the moment. We were lucky to meet 10 families in 12 months of travel. Now, you, can, you cannot go to a campground without meeting 25 families at every campground. So the time has changed that much. And like after 12 months, it just sort of, things just evolve for us. And every 12 months, things evolve. So anyway, that's a rough background. And we've been on the road six years. About three years ago, we started a YouTube channel. 
called Trip in a Van. Uh, it's the Road Trip Australia series. And we generally, it's just locations we go to, information about campgrounds, uh, a few techie things thrown in, a bit of kids stuff, a yeah. bit of local Lots knowledge. Of um, we try and catch up with some cool people along the way, hence why Harry's here, which is great. Um, yeah. And it's working out really well this is our new lifestyle mate it's not a it's not a trip for us it's not a holiday this is our lifestyle mm -hmm. mate this is everything we own and it's what we do for a job it is. we create videos we work with brands in the industry and we have a bloody good time and we're super lucky to be spending it with our kids oh, in their younger years which like, is fully grateful for that it's a constant battle <laughs> in life in general is um a work-life balance right mm. which is what we always strive for back in the mining days and it's this is what it's all about now so it's we'd like to do more we'd love to do more vids we'd love to do lots of different things but it's all about family and the kids mm. and that's there yeah, we work everything around raising these little rat bags as um as best we can and we bloody love it i'll tell you what if you haven't tried longer trips on the road with your kids you need to get out and do it because it's so such good. it's good growth for them it's um, insanely beneficial for them it's bloody good for your marriage too yeah mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, that's us. We'll leave it there. Oh, thank you very much. No worries. Wow, so, that was a full-on intro. That's not an intro. A bit of background. Background. Pass. background yeah. There you go. I did it's a half assed intro before. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just going to take you around for a quick rundown of my gear. Super quick, super simple, and just tell you what we live in. We have been on the road six years with a family, um, five people, three kids, and the youngest was six months old when we left. So it's been a hectic six years, but it's been bloody unreal. And for us personally, we couldn't have done it in anything else but a caravan. I don't know, we used to be camper trailers. Once you've had a caravan, mate, you just can't go back. They are, I don't know, they're, they're so easy and simple. Um, this is our whole life, mate. This and the cruiser, so the van, I'll start with that is a Sunseeker Desert Storm. This one is a 21 foot six model. It's triple bunks, a shower and toilet, queen size bed, and you've got a kitchen and a lounge inside. And then you've also got like extended drawbar, um, toolbox. You've got triple bike rack on the back for the kids. One on the front for us. And um, cause I like me toys and I have a tinny. I've even got an extra little rack for me electric motor. How clever oh, is that? Where you keep the <laughs> I had to ditch a bike nice. rack for a, um, a lecky motor rack. Uh, yeah, stone guard, stone stomper. And this one is a four and a half ton ATM model. So we have lots of water, lots of battery power, lots of solar, because we do as much off-grid camping as we can. I really, I'm not a big fan of caravan parks and we like to camp on our own a lot. So that's for hence the off-grid model. Anyway, Cruiser, 200 series, it's a 2019 GXL. It has- um, Should've gone the VX. Should've gone the VX, but I'm happy now. I just upgraded the screen in it, so it's all good. Um, Anyway, it's got a Norweld full-time canopy on the back of it, a full-size jobby, and in the back of there we have full shelving, upright fridge, there's an outboard slide on the other side, Almac loader on the top, Bush Company awning, tinny on the top, it's Mako Craft, top of tracker, killer little tinny, it has taken us everywhere from the Jardine River in Cape York to the squid fields down off Point Turton, mate, like it is a killer little rig. And uh, the ute itself is just a 650 mil J-Max conversion, um, chopped 200. So there you go. They are an absolute astronomical price for what you can get. But like I tell everyone, it's not about what they cost, it, it's what it, it enables us to do. So we can tow a big load. We, this can be four and a half ton, and we can tow four and a half ton. That's how we get to all these off-grid places with all the gear we have. So anyway, I might throw Harry a few extra images of this thing he can put in over the top. But in a nutshell, mate, that it's is impressive. it. <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> but oh, you got to remember, we didn't start with this at all. This has been no, no. a long process to build yeah. up to this. And we live on the road. We don't have a house. You're an on-road van with a BT-50, right? True. First setup ever was an on-road van um, with a BT-50. And that, we went everywhere. But and we you, just missed out on so many off-road camps. Yeah, I was going to say, like, you'd be looking at the same view a lot of the time. But once you go off-road, it's yeah. just entirely different. Mate. Especially in WA. Yeah. yeah. WA's best. Oh, he's getting it. Best WA is very off right now. <laughs> it is. That is it, mate. That is our very impressive. lovely abode here at Colonial. Love it. All right, so start off. We're both doing a bit of prep. So Justin's got his steaks drying out and salting and peppering. Mate, my Seasoning. secret process on how to cook a steak. Yeah. <laughs> Not so secret anymore, secret just like he told everyone. Yeah, a couple hundred thousand people now. now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to do some spuds. Um, I don't know how to say this. On gas. 
<laughs> the reason for that is because I can't legally light a fire till, sorry, a um, solid fuel barbecue um, until six o'clock tonight. You're quite, so quite the pickle. I need to parboil these. I didn't do it before I left. Well, there is fire involved. There's fire involved. Yeah. It's, it's just it doesn't add any different. It doesn't make any difference to the flavour. The <laughs> fact that it's cooked on gas. <laughs> But yeah, sue me, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna chop these guys up and then make that happen. So I'm just gonna kind of slice these up pretty roughly. And then you put them in water for ages. And then ideally put them in the fridge for a bit. But we'll see how cold we can actually get them. I don't think we'll get them that cold. Um, you just do what you can do. <laughs> cool them down as much as you can so they're not stinking hot when they go into the What are they gonna the end up as? Roast potatoes. Roast potatoes. Yeah, nice. yeah. But if you can parboil them, then chill them, then roast them, that's the best process. It's just time consuming. Well, it's not actually, it's not labor intensive. It's just like an extra step. Oh, we've got some visitors, mate. I've got one. Look at that. Look at this. I've got one. What'd you get in the net? How I many did you get? You only got one. Yeah, yeah. and one escaped. There was more in there this morning. They must have got out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a few came oh, out. More than that. There you go. They escaped. So this is all new to me. So obviously. So they're, so they're, they're yabbies. They're yabbies. So, so they're still good to eat, mate. Yeah, they're still good to eat. And you can actually, there's no size limit on them. Oh. And no, no, um. I'm gear. gonna eat that no big massive gear. one. I, go. I see that big massive one, I'm eating the hen. How about you, you go and ask mum for like a, a container and fill it full of fresh water and we'll put these guys in it and then we can cook them up. Oh, tonight. he's gonna eat them! He might. He wants. Alright, I'm going for the path of least resistance here because we want to get this going fast. So a couple of tinder shreds in there, blowtorch. Just make it happen. Oh, excuse me. How good is it when someone can hold the camera for you? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> this is so much easier. That stuff's gold. Yeah, it burns for eight minutes. What? Yeah, it's nuts. What's it made out of? Uh, it is. Something. Uh, this, these things? Yeah. Uh, they are pine, but they're paraffin wax. Oh. Yeah, so they actually smell pretty good. Um, <laughs> yeah, but they're water resistant. They can take a flint spark and. Oh. That kind of stuff. Killer. There you go. There you go. Add that's it to your. Is that for me? Yeah. Add it to your. Can you ripper. <laughs> what else you got? <laughs> Heaps. <laughs> so different when it's just not just us. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else doing it. That going? Yeah. All right. Hey, yeah. I'm going to throw the appetizer on. This is my fig <laughs> prosciutto delight. Oh, anyway, so <laughs> got a bit of camembert in there. I think a bit of blue cheese might have been nicer, but I didn't know if Harry liked blue cheese or not, but. I've just, in, um, I've just discovered that in the shops and I'm really liking it. So anyway, hot tip for you. Cover it in oil so it doesn't stick to the grill. Otherwise, all your prosciutto falls off when you try and turn it. Anyway, slap that straight on there. Nice, sizzle, sizzle. Now I was just telling Harry, good trick of mine, if you get a bit too much flame under there, because it's on this swing and chain setup, you just give it a bit of a spin and then it's, it doesn't sit there in the one spot so you don't burn the crap out of it. I like it. Yeah. I like it. There you go. It's a good trick. Anyway. And that oil, like non aerosol. So it's like yeah. pressurized air, obviously, but not aerosol. So it's, yeah, should be sweet. Good. Um, yeah, give that, just char your prosciutto, turn it over three or four times, wait for your cheese to melt. The figs are ripe, bang them off, and um, mate, we'll show you. It's pretty damn delicious, eh? There's nothing in that that can taste bad. No. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I feel a little bit spoiled. It's see, like it seems like a little bit. Uh, ritzy, it's but pretty bougie. everything's so available down here. Like there was fresh figs on a tree at the campground I stayed in, and everything else, like you're down in Margaret River, there's cheese, there is prosciutto, there's fresh produce. Like, get around it. Yeah, sport and local. Mate, I've He's got done. this is the first delicious treat of the night. Don't worry about that. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to burn my hand. No, nah, it's not too bad. Right. Anyway, well, I've got to pull these off. Oh. It is hot. Oh, I lost it a bit hot. of prosciutto. Here we go. Get on there. Jeez. Can't lose them. There you go. That is our entree, mate. This is my entree, anyway. Um, <laughs> this is, what do we call it? I'm going to call it a prosciutto fig surprise. Does that sound oh, all right? I like can, I, can I do some good, good shorts bear roll of this? <laughs> you can I do. I think it would be better. Let's <laughs> use this guy's computer. <laughs> Oh, 
kids involved for us to hold that. Billy better not kill me. Now, because Harry's our guest, I'm going to slide one off. I'm going to grab the camera. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How's this? Harry, watch the cameraman as well. Watch yeah. the toothpick, mate. I have a cameraman and a cook. You need to try the first one. Okay. Let me know. It's gonna, if, let's see if it explodes. Is it too hot? Or? Oh, that's the cheese. Is it good? Oh, that is so good. <laughs> you're not well, lying, I hope you're not lying to me. <laughs> no, that's actually really good. Uh, actually, the camembert I thought would be too mild. Yeah. It's not. It's great. It's good. Mm. What I was thinking is that? I wanted blue, but I didn't know if you liked no, blue cheese. No, I love blue cheese. And the camembert is good because otherwise I think it would be slightly too salty. There you go. Nailed mm. it. You're up, mm. dude. You want one? Yeah, I'll have one. I want one. Bill, would one you mind holding that, please, okay. darling? Oh, they all came out. Here Charlie, can you hold that? See, this is this is why I put them all on the skewer because it's so easy to turn just one thing rather than five things. Just there's a toothpick in it, so take the toothpick out or don't bite the toothpick in half. Can I try? Here we go. Beck is my most critical. Mm of um, tasters, mm. so if it's good. Can I try one? It's really good, it's like sweet but salty. Yeah. I Dad, really I rate it. I thought the skin would yeah. be okay. gross, but it's really okay. nice. I rate that. I'll you try like some. Mm. Someone hold this, I want to try one. Do you want to try some? I'll try one. <laughs> I'll, try one. <laughs> I'll take this. Now the skills. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you know what? I didn't get a meaty one. I just missed out. <laughs> oh, you can have mine. <laughs> yeah. You can have mine. You can have mine. <laughs> no, it's oh, right. Oh, look, everyone's up on him up. Go on. Hit him up. You'll like that, Bill. It doesn't have me. The kids were eating these fresh off the tree, so. That's mm. oh, I'm scared. <laughs> you like it? Don't just eat the prosciutto. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if it's really a kid's dish. <laughs> I like the prosciutto. You like the prosciutto. We gotta eat the whole like thing the fig, at once. Billy? Who? Do you like the fig? It's too hot, brother. <laughs> you know the best thing? Kids never lie, mate. Kids mm. never lie. How is it, Rue? I do. I think I like it. I like the cheese though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, love the honesty, guys. <laughs> Can I try some, Beck? I like it. I don't think Chef will get to it. Like it. Like it. Like it. All right. Yeah, you like Here we it. Go. There you go. Bill. Chef's own creation. Hmm. I really like it. I reckon that's... I'm impressed, mate. Hmm. That'd have to be healthy. I can already feel it. <laughs> Wrapped in prosciutto yeah. full of cheese and it's got to be healthy. Well, it's a fruit. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, it's a fruit. <laughs> <laughs> like having crushed grapes. <laughs> well, I've got um, <laughs> fruit salad for dinner. <laughs> There's one thing I haven't done yet. The lady at Spring Waters, whose tree it was, told me that there's something between a wasp and a fig that you don't want to look up before you eat the fig. So apparently it's, I don't know, but I'll leave that to you. What? I haven't looked it up yet. That is so cryptic. That's so weird. <laughs> anyway, a bit of a cryptic clue. Have a look, but maybe don't look it up before you eat a fig. Now, do you kids want to have a marron? Try a marron first? Yeah. Okay, marron. Before What's we, a marron? Because we're sure. going to cook, cook them later on. It's like a little freshwater crayfish. Ooh. No. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. You love right. crayfish. Try Let's cook oh, one little marron. Yes, I will. I don't want this. And see if you like it. Cool. Yeah. Hey? All right, let's do that quickly. <laughs> be back in a sec. Okay, so this is a, basically how I do my marron. Really simple. All you do is finely slice garlic. Don't, don't um, dice it. So that means two ways. You want to finely slice it so it's not as intense. Now this is for the kids. So I'm not going to do too much garlic in this. Uh, the grub on my hands is not dirt, dirt. It's a bit of charcoal. It's, it's clean dirt for fire cooking anyway. So, grab one marron, you chuck a bit of the garlic in there. A bit of salt. I'm not gonna put pepper on, because it's kids. Then, a bit of very high quality olive oil. High quality olive oil, the better. And we're gonna throw that on the fire. Good. Can you hold that board for a sec? Oh, that's a big Thank one. Thank you. What right. is that? So I'm going to chuck that on there. It's a freshwater thingy. Freshwater crayfish. Yum. Okay. That was cool. So we're going to cook that shell side down mm. until it's cooked. Actually, I'm going to put that, Yum, so that meaty that bit off the edge. Melt. Oh. It's good. So that's all garlic and, and very high quality olive oil. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. 
So, let's do my spuds, which are just spuds I parboiled, definitely not on a gas cooker. Um, and <laughs> tons of olive oil. So I'm gonna put like, like five mil on the bottom of the thing, just like, just send it with the olive oil. Salt. And, lid on. And you don't want to stir these. It's really counterintuitive, but you don't actually want to stir them. So, let's go and hang it up. How's that marin looking? Good, can't tell. Very close. Really? Yeah, so once that, um, once that white bit of the, once the flesh is all white, yeah. we're done. Could you hold that for a second, babe? Absolutely. Thanks. Absolutely. Okay, so I'll hang this guy up here. Uh, better get my gloves. How come you never hold the camera for me, mate? I do all the time. Oh, come on, that's why I've got selfie poles. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's about as straight as Elton John. It's going well. <laughs> oh, I had a good joke the other day. Here we go. You know what? You know why Elton John doesn't like lettuce? Because no. he's a rocket man. <laughs> oh. See, Harry gets it. Such a dead joke. Oh, see, you have to be a dad, you wouldn't get it. <laughs> oh, dear. Beck hated that. I told her and she didn't give me nothing. <laughs> oh, fire gloves. Give me a real joke, mate. Fire gloves, cool. <laughs> you gonna put real fire on them. These are smelting gloves. All right. What's that in there? Roast potatoes. Ooh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the kids are like, potatoes, eh? Mm. <laughs> I like potatoes. You can't get potatoes in woolies at the moment. There's no yeah. bloody food. Oh, look, look All right. potatoes. No, these aren't potatoes. <laughs> That's mm. charcoal. Jackson black potato. That's what you get from Santa if you're naughty. Oh, you read How much is a bag of that? 50 bucks. 50 bucks. It's very expensive. Uh, I don't recommend getting it like that. Get it from Facebook Marketplace. Like local guys will give you like Mallee root charcoal and stuff for like 20 bucks a bag. But I was in a rush. And yeah. I went to barbecues galore and I bought the like mm. wanker charcoal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like perfectly like laid out in the bag. It's such a waste of time. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. And you get like what? One cook out of it? Two cooks out of it? Uh, depends. If you if you use like something like a Kamada Joe, that'll last you like six months. Oh, but on this sort of a situation yeah. where it's like not efficient, not efficient, and you just go yeah. through it, nah, forget about it. But I'm trying to do the best thing I can for the um, solid fuel barbecue regulations, <laughs> <laughs> and that is charcoal, <laughs> even if it's going to cost fifty bucks. <laughs> oh, we're so close. Mm, so good. Really, I thought they were supposed to go dark. You don't clip that at all. Oh. It makes Maybe it, something. As soon as you flip it, it'll go dry. Right. Yeah, so that's why you that's have to. Charlie. Also, why you have to butterfly it because if you don't butterfly it, um, it'll cook too slowly and the outside will be overcooked. So you only want like a small amount of meat to cook at a time. Where is it? Just oh. to it. <laughs> you just rip some of the meat out. Can you rip it out? No, mm, I'll try. Yeah, I'll try. There you go. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, no way. Mmm. You're is gonna it good? Have a it's okay. Mm -hmm. Is it actually good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've never had it, so I don't know. Can awesome. I have some? Uh, you're right. <clears throat> That's cool that it's pulled out of there. The tree. Oh, it's super tender. Here you go. Mm -hmm. In the gob there. What yeah. do you reckon? Oh, I think that was garlic. Yeah, I hate that. Bit. That was garlic. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Eat the cray. Sure, I actually yeah. think that's better than like a painted cray. You're joking. Mmm. Really? Yeah, I do. That's Hi. Oh. That, oh. <laughs> That's actually big because Beck, Beck doesn't like cray. I love it. I, I didn't. I didn't expect it to come out of the shell like that. It's, yeah, it's really soft and tender. I love it. Oh man, it's really oh, nice. No, that is actually yeah. really nice. I love it, but I hate, except I hate. You know what? I, that strikes me is it doesn't have that 
sinewy skin outlay yeah. like a crayfish, yeah. a saltwater one. It's way more tender. It is. Wow. That whereas a painted is like a bit chewy, sort yeah. of. And if yeah, you went to grab it, the whole tail comes yeah, out. Yeah, that's really tender and yeah. it's oh, flavoursome though. Oh, I'm just there. There you go. That's pretty good. Yeah. I thought that was um stuff. Eat that. It's a bit like spicy. It's really nice. Mmm. That's good. Um, Do you like that? I'm missing now. Oh. That? Mate, we need to get Marin in our dam. Do Marin go? <laughs> Do Marin go in Queensland? Tell us. Do Marin grow in Queensland? I think it's too, I think it's going to be too warm. <laughs> Damn. Uh, wow. That is yeah, sweet. That's really nice. High five, I like Harry, it. mate. That is. Yeah. That's well legit. done. That's I like beautiful. it. I like High five. it. I like it. It's just like the garlic. I like it. That is bloody good. But I hate good. the garlic. I like the, I like the <laughs> other flavour. It's like a different kind oh, of flavour. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now I just want the corn. You can eat that. Yeah, I'm like, corn down there. Eat the rest yeah. of that, Baron. Yeah. Alright, so we're doing things a little bit differently today because I can't. But we're all prepping together. So basically, all I've got is some slices of zucchini, a bit of balsamic over the top. Mm. Got quite a few slices. Chuck them in a bowl, a bit of good quality of olive oil. And then salt and pepper. Quick mix around. Leave them for between 10 minutes and two hours. Doesn't matter. And then we'll just chuck them straight in the grill. Well, I think we'll be right. We're, it's a balancing act. We'll get there. Mm. Oh, good, mate. mate, it is legit mm. gonna be no, I just a delicious off. feed, don't worry. Here we go, it's time to serve, mate. Let's have a look at this. You've probably seen those, these on Harry's channel. Have you showed these before? Oh, uh, once or twice. Once or twice? Oh, I love them, mate. Hey, they're absolutely wicked. Anyway, here's me Scotchy. I should probably ask for a bit of advice right now. What's the best way to carve a steak? Um, so, with these ones, you want to carve it like this. Like this. Yep. All right. Yep. Yeah. That's pretty much, I probably would have gone that way, but that way. Yep. All right. There you go. You know what my favorite part of a scotchy is? That bit. Yes. That I is. Mean, I don't know what cut that is, but it is legit. It's very good. That bit's nice and fatty. Anyway, so what I do, this is what, me and the family eat this probably at least once a week. Vegetables and steak or chicken, uh, but we just carve it up. Nice thick chunks, and we sit it on a platter board. We all sit outside wherever we are, and we just pick it up. We dip it in a, a bit of a sauce. The kids love aioli with a bit of vegetables. I like a, a bit of a chili sauce or a bit of a chutney or something like that. But that is what we do, mate. Just carve it up. This has been sitting, I don't know, probably five minutes. Like I said, because the kids eat it all the time too, it's probably not how a lot of you would cook it. I like it well done or medium to well because the kids don't like any pink in it. But if you buy good steak like this is, it doesn't seem to matter. Like the flavor stays the same and it's still just as delicious without it being medium to medium rare. So when Sam was pregnant, she couldn't eat medium well or med sorry, she couldn't eat medium rare or rare. Yeah. So we used to buy Wagyu. Oh, there you go. Because you can cook it medium got, well yeah. and it's still delicious. Yeah. And is that like, probably the fat in it makes it? Yeah, the fat in it and yeah. just the quality of it is, is so tender. Even though it wasn't pink, it tasted amazing. Oh, that's so what like, I find with it. It's really yeah. weird. Like You're like, oh, don't ruin this great steak. You're like, well, you kind of can. It'll probably be all right. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I, well, to me, a medium is my choice. But medium to well like this, like far out. Look at that. It is delicious. And the kids smash it. Everyone enjoys it. You can grab a bit. Go for it. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah. Smash it. Get in. I think there you go. Have to have a mm, bite of it's it. juicy. I think yeah, now this is where Harry comes into his own. He's going to show you some of these super sexy slick shots of mm. that. Because look at that. Mm. It's too cooked for me, but it's a good bit of steak. It's a good bit of steak. It's got, it's got good flavour. Yeah. Mm. And see, the thing is, it's hard. We're all in a like we travel. Oh, you know, I get it. I'm on the Barbie. And if I cook two different steaks, it's a small job for me. So I just do it all, the one thing, and everyone eats it. I love it. Yeah. There you go. Do that Steak for your family, dishes. mate. They will absolutely froth on it. Gratuitous bay roll time. Let's do it. <laughs> Green and gold. 
Green and gold, hey. The Bunsters. I've got to throw you another hot tip. We use a lot of this stuff with hot sauce. I don't like super hot, but I like a bit of spice. This green and gold, uh, I have, there you go, jalapeno and charapita chili. But with steak, even on eggs in, for brekkie in the morning, I love it. But if you just get a bit and just lather, like just slap it in there. And, oh. Mate, I have no words. It is that good. I'm trying some of that with my Wagyu. Mm. Right. Oh, that sauce with fish and chips, highly recommended. Mm. Sorry, too much. <laughs> <laughs> Your princess Lay it down. Bag over there. Oh, I'm scared. Yum. Oh, no. oh, babe. Be careful. Hey, Chuck us this, Bezzy. It's still on. It's on. It's That's on. Right. There you go, throw a bit of light on the situation. Smack into it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a corn. Oh, babe, be very careful. Well, I'm just eating this corn. Yeah. You're like vultures. Into it. That's a good sound. Nothing. Mm. That's always, it's always a good sign for the chef if you've, um, if there's no noise from talking You've other than the successful. occasional mm. <laughs> <laughs> which sound really creepy this Yum. close to the camera <laughs> beautiful oh wow yeah, but I might start cooking some other stuff yeah, all right let's chuck this oh got the marin it's good yeah. chuck it on what's that oh marin let's um <laughs> throw a bit of light on the situation oh thank you look at that so I want to do these quite slowly. There's a claw there. Hey, can you tell me, is the claw like a lot sweeter, like a mud crab? Uh, not really, actually. It's actually a little bit tougher. So it's kind of weird. It's good, but it's not like, I don't go out of my way to get them. Right. Yeah. I've got one more though. <clears throat> Whereas, as we know, mud crab claws are incredible. Oh, the lollipop, mate. Yeah. It's legit. Our lollipop. Oh, that looks a bit more... A bit more adult. Yeah, liking it. Absolutely. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's good. Yeah, that flare up's good. Fire a spoon. Fire a spoon. <laughs> exactly. That's okay. Cook stuff quick. Yeah, that's how you burn stuff. <laughs> so quickly. Oh, that's a bit warm. Move that up. Out of the way. That'll get rid of the flare up. If you want to cook steak, um, this is a hot tip. Oh, uh, I don't know, yeah. but um, if you want to cook something really quick, just put some, what do you call it? Oil? Canola oil in. Just yeah. Throw it in. It'll look. It will. That is <laughs> very true. It'll <laughs> taste <laughs> terrible, but. That is that hot. <laughs> and All right. All right. Let's leave that for a bit. All right, now I might throw some zucchini on. Yeah, that'll do for zucchini, I think. Otherwise, it'll just be a plate of zucchini. <coughs> throw some shrooms on. Some naked dancing shrooms. <laughs> right, you always cook more after. Then we should be good for a while. Then we'll do the steaks. We'll eat these as a bit of an entree. And just, I think we just graze. Eat things as they're done. Super. So much easier. A few tins later. What do you reckon we pair this with a Margaret River? Ooh, oh, I love Domain Naturalist Sauvignon, actually. Sauvignon Blanc Semillon. Is that how you'd SBS? say that? SBS, yep, SBS. SBS, that's heaps easier. Yep. Um, would you like my stainless blue cup or my Cooper Pedi Piccolo cup. I think I like the Piccolo. Yeah. That's sick. Damn, that's my favourite cup. Yeah, I know. I could, <laughs> I could see that as the way you were holding it back, and I was like, it makes me want it more. There you go. There's nothing like class around here, mate. Thank this you. Is, here we go. It's actually a really nice wine. Mm. We dropped into a few the other day, and Beck just did a few tastings. And oh, that's a ripper. I'm yeah. lucky she was in the shower when I grabbed this. She's not going to be happy. All right, tell me about this. What's going on? We've got a bit of Marin. Mm. Um, this is the adult version. The adult version. Can I try this first? Absolutely. That's the key. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's good, isn't it? With the balsamic. That's really good. I love my barbecued veg, man. Mmm. Yeah. So, 
bit more flavour in this one. Bit chilli. A little bit, but like it's not spicy. But it's it's just got that chilli like infused flavour. Look at that. Mate, I am converted. You're a Marin man? I'm a Marin man. I am actually a Marin man. I've They're... followed a lot of people along the years and they always from my point of view, they always carry on about Marin. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? It's a freaking freshwater crayfish. Holy shit. They're good, aren't they? <laughs> they're really they're good. Really good. <laughs> no wonder they carry <laughs> on. No, they're, they're just... people, people are always like, oh yeah, whatever, like it's a yabby. Yeah. I'm like, mm, it's pretty good, yeah, man. Well, that was my, I'm like, I've had red claw. Well, how good could a Marin be? No. That is, it is like a Western red without the sinewy skin, but softer. Mm hmm really clean so clean did you have to flush that no that actually didn't get flushed at all true no that's straight out that i ran out of time yeah oh no sorry i put it in my sink for 20 minutes there you go 20 minutes yeah 20 minutes yeah just, just as like breathe a bit of fresh yeah pretty much and just flush a bit of mud out yeah i mean but they're, they're just not that muddy i suppose it depends what system you get them from or whatever yeah they'll a, a, a dam you can't see three centimeters down true they're just not a muddy tasting flesh i don't know why that but is, they're not like actually ridiculous. Look at that. This is vegan meat. Dead mushy. I've never had a mushy yet. Oh, I don't know if I want to waste any space on a mushy. Mm. Have a I bite. Want, do I want to eat all that? We still got wagyu. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> and roast oh, potatoes. <laughs> I get the feeling there'll be some leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I've, oh, yeah. I've overcated as usual. But um, if if I had to take, if you had a choice, would you choose this end? Well, this that end. end. This end. Yeah. True. Not the head. Not the head. <laughs> just, just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> mm, okay, on a second. <laughs> Don't make eye contact. I'm glad I did that. Mm. Oh, wow. It's Vegan meat. It's, mm. it's like chicken. Yeah. Is it? Hang on. I think I like the tip. Tip's good. The other room. There you go. Mm. This one. Too a stringy? Bit, bit oystery, maybe? Like a bit slimy. Oh, and, okay, yeah, yeah. You know that take you know how oh yeah. Do you know what kind of mushroom that is? Uh no. Oyster mushroom. Oh, get out. <laughs> Not even kidding. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Is that why they call them that? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is. But it actually, so. you know when you get a big juicy oyster and it's a bit a little bit you get that like yeah, that slimy snot yeah, okay. feeling. Just the base of that. The flavour is mm. good. But you get that texture that reminds you of an oyster. Fair enough. There you go. So I don't mind eating that when it doesn't look so flaccid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, chop it up smaller. Kind of like... It's like, you know the bloke's rules for eating a banana? <laughs> no. Short, sharp bites, no <laughs> eye contact. <Yeah. laughs> it it makes sense. <laughs> no slow peeling. No. Mm. Uh, I'll tell you what. That gets better as you eat more of it. Yeah. I, I like them. I, I, yeah, I, I can eat it. Mm. <clears throat> if I was uh, a veggie, I would eat that yeah. instead of steak. There you go. The, tell you what, it's like chicken breast. It's a big, big mm -hmm. feed for like half a mushy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot, of, like a lot of content in there. Like a lot of sustenance. Crazy. Mm. Could you do? I'm thinking. You reckon you could do a stir fry with them? 100 percent that'd be sick. that'd be so good yeah huh. yeah that'd be real nice yeah and they're not expensive for like what you get so it's like six bucks for that whole this is only half the pack the rest is over there yeah right six bucks for that so it's like it's a lot of food mm. love it mate you nailed it mm. this is the thing Thanks, i don't Matt. i don't get to do this on the road because i don't have like time Mm. I've got like hungry family. Let's smash out a meal in under 20 minutes. Yeah. You know, he'll be like, oh, I can't just slow cook something because I'd be like, everyone's hungry. Let's smash out a steak and do it the best you can in the shortest amount of time. Oh. See, with them, I would have dead set just to make it quicker, cook them both sides. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just to be like, try and feed everyone, but they would not be that good. No. Nah. Yeah. Now, nah, if you chuck them in, but you, also if you put them in the Weber, because of the lid, mm. they'll cook faster. Mm. There you go. 
Not that I've ever used a Weber. I definitely don't have, <laughs> I definitely don't have a gas hooded barbecue at home. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. I've definitely never, ever, ever cooked a marin on it. <laughs> like last week. I'm going to have to try this. Yeah, do it. Have you got a. What do you swear? They're not very thick. You can just, just crack it with your teeth. Oh, there you yeah, go. Or your I'm thinking mud crab. No, no, no. <laughs> Little fellas. Um, but, I, like, we were talking earlier about induction cooking. And I reckon you've done it right because, number one, you've got kids. Yep. Three of them. <laughs> <laughs> which is hectic. And then, number two, you already had the battery set up to run it. I think building a, a car, particularly for one or two people, sorry, Andrew, um, <laughs> to... Um, and Matt, I have no sympathy for you. You're just lazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, doing it like, which you've already got the electrical system, it makes total sense to be like, all right, here's a fifty dollar thing that will like let me feed the kids really fast, conveniently, in, in insane amounts of wind, and you don't have to carry a thing. Fred, go away. Yeah, you carry less stuff. Awesome. No, you do. No, I agree with you. As opposed to more, hey. which that and that like that checks out. Yeah. Um, um, and when it's for, like for convenience cooking, um, you'd never find me having a microwave. Like I, I'd, I still don't agree with the microwave in a um, canopy. No, I wouldn't, no. Not in a canopy. In a yeah. in a van, whatever. Uh, in a canopy, nah. Not as a second one. Oh, uh, no. There's it, so many if options. It, if it's your, house. I have a microwave in my house. I use it all the time. Oh. I'm I'm not mad at someone having a microwave in their house, and that's your house. Yeah. Um, in your canopy, uh, a bit much. Yeah, and I'll. To me, canopy is all about valuable, valuable space. Yeah, it's a lot of space. And enabling you to carry stuff that's useful and what you're going to use. Yep. Like fishing gear. Yeah, fishing gear, your tinny, your motor. And outboard. Yeah. Yeah. All that um, stuff. Beach bag, bloody, I don't know, camera gear, all that stuff. Water. Water. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, I'm with you. I use it for convenience. And it's bloody handy when you run out of gas. For the first time the other day, I run out of gas. What did you think of the claw? Not as good, is it? Nah. See what I mean? Yeah. They're not as good. I know. You sort of get tempted into the thing like a mud crab claw is the sweetest lollipop you'll find. No, nah, it's dry. It's It was good, but it wasn't full. Um, but you can't, no, it doesn't. Nah. It's got nothing on the body. Right. Should we wait for back lever? Mm. Is she coming over? She's, got, she's putting the kids to bed. Ah. So. We'll leave it for her. Yeah. It's the last one, so... If not, the kids will probably eat it. I think they're having a hot chockey and watching a movie. Oh, cool. Yeah. Hmm. I'll have a bit more of that. Might. Ah. Uh, Bang I might. on. Go chuck some steaks on. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Feel wagyu. Mm -hmm. All right, we've eaten quite a lot, so I'm going to do one steak, I think. A what? I think you'd be right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a nine score Wagyu sirloin. Oh, Jesus. The retail on this. Do I want to know? <laughs> that's, prob that's probably like in, okay, in Perth, because it's Margaret River Wagyu, which by the way, won Wagyu of the year this year. This is why I'm, in, I'm upset you're only cooking one, because it's probably the only time I've ever done to eat a steak worth more than $100. Anyway. Yeah, this is so this is about uh, that's probably like an eighty dollar steak. Jesus. For that. We can do it. It's you can see the marbling and oh, stuff. Right. It's it's insane. Did we can, just, we you, can cook another one. Did you pull that straight out of the fridge? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Straight out of the fridge. Happy day. Good to go. And then a bit of salt and pepper on straight away. Where to leave my salt and pepper? How good's that? Alright. So oh, oh, oh. Some people don't like pepper straight on because it burns the pepper. I really like roasted peppercorns, oh, so yeah, have yeah, get into it. Really? Certainly can. That's my favourite bit. That little end bit. No, mine. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> it's my bit because I hate pepper. Mm. We've got another one, so we can always cook another one <laughs> no. if, we're, if we're still hungry. <laughs> no, no, I don't care because I get this for. Yeah. 25 bucks a kilo. Oh my god. 25 bucks a kilo? No. The secret in I heard. So this is um this was a, a, a gift from a friend who was like, I'll give you some staff price. Lovely. I was like, stop it. Wow. So I bought three kilos. Yeah. 
I'll buy, well, can I please have that friend name so I can buy 10 kilos yeah. of fish? <laughs> oh, if there was more, I would have bought oh. more. <laughs> Man. The dog's sniffing around for food. Yeah, he's, he's, he likes it, doesn't he? He's just trying to find he, any old little... He missed out yeah. before. He's all chained oh, up because yeah. he's been locked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that looks the goods. No, I'll move it off a little bit. It's a little bit too warm now. Do you reckon if you had to, like, your choice? Yeah. The best snag to cook on a fire, would it be like 10 mil thick, 20 mil thick, 30 mil thick? Like what? Um, Favourite? Like 8 mil thick. True. Thin, thin. Like sandwich steak style. Sandwich steak style's frozen. Yeah. Nearly frozen. It's like just oh. movable. Yeah. And I do an insane sear on it, and the middle is just melting your there mouth. You go. It's that is my favourite. Oh, yeah. It's really weird. Yeah. You'd think it'd be like a big fat thick. Yeah, yeah. No, I was no. thinking like tomahawk, reverse no. seared, bloody ribeye or something. And that's because the the percentage of like Maillard reacted, like seared, crispy, oh, thanks, beautiful darling. steak <laughs> to like meat yeah. is Perfect higher. Perfect ratio. Well, yeah, you, you get more of the seared goodness all that caramelized goodness on the outside stuff. whereas yeah, the middle yeah, is yeah. really good yeah the outside's the best yeah no i'm with you i oh, know you're right eh? and 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 i wouldn't have said that six months ago yeah it's not until my mate cut his wagyu really thin because you can't eat too much of it because yeah. he gets the goose views yeah and he did a thin one and i did a thick one and, you're like, this and i was like better. mate yours is so much better wow there you go didn't didn't expect it didn't see it coming but yeah it's really good true I suppose that'd suit me because it's quick to cook. Quick to cook, it's really easy, and they're cheaper. Yeah. So wagyu, you don't eat the same size steak, like as in you you can't eat as much. True. Oh, it's, it's just so of the fat. it's so filling. Yeah, right. Like if you tried to eat that, you'd be like, you'd be hurting. Really? I'm yeah. looking at that going. I would smash that. I mean, you can have a crack. But... <laughs> oh, I don't want to get the goose fuse. The other one's bigger. <laughs> I've never heard of the goose fuse, but I don't want it. <laughs> I don't know where I've put my bloody salt and pepper shakers again, so I'm using yours. They're around. They kind of gone far. How this way? Oh, is that a. Uh, what no, am I doing wrong? This ends the right way. Which way are you hold it? Like this? Is this, this way? Yeah, Alright, cool. Go. There we go, cool. That's just for the, for the potato. I won't put any pepper on there for you. <laughs> You ever, you ever used a salt shaker before, Harry? No, no? it's my first time. <laughs> Everything is unsalted. <laughs> All right. Oh my lord, the one with the crunchy bottom on it. Do you want a little bit of steak? Oh, Thank that's you. your corner. Oh. Yummy? Mm. <laughs> All right, try a bit of that, mate. So that's the best steak. Hey, I'll, I'll get ready. So you reckon? Mate, it looks legit. Yeah. I think we already dropped some, did you? Oh. It melts, doesn't it? It fully melts. Mm. I was like, like I have no food. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. It's a bit different. It's not different. It's delicious. <laughs> That's what it is. It oh doesn't. Oh, hell. Oh. How does steak get any better? It doesn't. I like rave about me bloody scotch filler and then you go throw right, this at me. Quickly move this out of the way before I burn all the stuff underneath, which I've done before. Well done. Thank you. I rate it. And then you don't like, I don't know, you just don't need anything. You, that is it. Salt and pepper. Mate. This is the potato. Uh, is it good? Potato good? I haven't even tried it. Have a crack. Give me one. looking at it. That one's good. This one's better. Oh. I, I just tried the bottom. This isn't fair. Like, well, it is fair, but now that I'm going to be like spending hours, you've got to like, give back a bit of that steak. But I'll be like, I'll go back to like cooking, and I'll be like, I can't do this anymore. I'm going to have to, man. I'm going to have to try and replicate all this on the Weber mm -hmm. and let you know how I go. You can that is, they are ridiculous. You can mm. have this. I can't what even bite into it. You can have this. I can't even bite into it. No, just try it. And just bite hard on it. Yeah. Mm. But it's hotter. Oh. Yummy? Mm. <sighs> Mate, I'm a massive foodie. Oh. 
I'm stoked you like it, mate. He thinks he really, <laughs> he thinks we really dropped it. Hans, them. it's steak and potato. Where's my beer? Like how bloody good could it get? Well, and it can get bloody good, I tell you. I um, I like take, take the piss out of myself because I have probably found more ways to get away with cooking steak and potatoes in this channel than like any other meal. No, yeah. without a doubt, any other meal. I've cooked steak and potatoes in this channel. Like there are very few repeats on this channel, but steak and potatoes is definitely <laughs> one. I just got the tiny good. You know why? Because it's my favorite bloody, bloody meal. Good. Yeah. And because I know I'm pretty good at making it. Oh. Wait, if you have not, oh, I don't know, I'm lost for words. That steak, that is the real freaking deal. But this, anyone can do these, I reckon. That anyone gonna, can do that. That you're gonna need some seriously good quality wagyu. Yeah. But that, mate, that's a potato. And if you can Cheers. do that with a potato. Oh, ah. no, uh, no Fred's oh. Gone. it's gone to the Fred. Did Fred just eat a hundred dollars worth of steak? Fred, that's, the, Fred, you are the bougiest dog in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you get the goose spews in my bloody tra trailer, I'll be very angry. Good luck with that. <laughs> I'm going to um, I'm going to call this a good night. Oh, this is a great night, mate. And I'm I'm super stoked that we've caught up. I've learnt heaps off you. It's great to catch up, mate. It's great to to put a name or put a face to the name. Yeah, and hang we're out. Not, neither of us are going anywhere, so I'm sure we'll see you again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be around. Yeah. And next year, I've, Harry's been telling me his plans for next year. I won't let them out of the bag. No, nah, they're good. Though. But um, we might be able to catch up again. I so. think we can. Massive cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers to you. Cheers to Colonial. Cheers yeah. to Wagyu. Cheers to potatoes. And um, cheers to Margaret River. See you in the next one. Happy day. Cheers. Oh, Wagyu. Mm. Look at that old potato. Happy potatoes.